Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Man, what a week it has been. Tom Hanks and his wife, the NBA getting canceled. Sheesh. Anyways, I thought I'd switch up the normal content by showing you guys how I edit my pictures. And also showing you guys how bad my posture is uh, whenever I sit down like this. It's pretty bad. I should probably fix it. All right, we're gonna do this uh, for the next minute of the video before I start slouching again. And I'm by no means a professional photographer, okay? I don't really know how to edit, I don't really know how to dress, this is just how I see things. So now that we got my low self-esteem out the way, I have not touched this outfit picture. You and I are both seeing this for the first time, editing this for the first time. And the cool thing about editing pictures is that you see things a little bit different every single day, every single hour. So me editing this picture right now will be different from maybe after I film this video. I might be in a better mood, I might be in a bad mood, I might be in a happy mood and happy tones, or I might be in a moody, sad, fall depressed tone. And I'm going to be using Lightroom today because I shoot in RAW, and Adobe is basically my second girlfriend. You guys can use whatever you want, Visco Cam, Snapseed, Facetune if you need to manipulate your body because you need to fill a void or something like that. Uh, no judgment, no judgment. This is just what I use and what I recommend because all the professionals use it. You can use it on your phone and it's just as easy as any other app. So. All the professionals are doing, why not learn about it? It is a free app, that's why I also recommend it, but since I do have an account with Adobe, I do get a tiny bit more features, which you guys will see in the video. And we are gonna start with an edit that looks like this and finish off with this. Okay, so we got our screen recording on and we are gonna open up Lightroom. Sorry about the uh, lightning cable, my phone's about to die because um, I'm irresponsible and I should charge my phone at night. Okay, so when you go into Lightroom, you're gonna be greeted with this page and you're gonna wanna import your photos, that way you can edit them. So we're going to click add to import our photos to the album so there we go import from camera roll you'll see that I already have the pictures already and you'll see that it says raw on it so raw photos they carry a ton more data than your regular JPEG photos that are shot on your iPhone and many other cameras so if you can't shoot raw I would definitely do that not to say you can't edit JPEGs very well but raw just gives you a little more flexibility so we are gonna import these photos right here. Let's start with this one. I'd say this is the most well-balanced picture. We have a bunch of features down here. We got the selective tool healing, all this stuff. I always start off with correcting the camera calibration. Every camera lens has a little bit of flaws. Some might be a little bit distorted. Some might be a little bit too much vignetting and all that. So you go to optics. Um, you already see a difference right there. You always wanna click remove chromatic aberration. That's always the first step. Fix your camera lens so you start off with a clean slate. First thing that I always get done first is nail the exposure. Because I underexposed it, we are gonna brighten up the image. We're gonna add some contrast to the picture. Drop the highlights so we can get a little bit of the clouds back. You don't wanna drop it all the way because it can be a little bit too unnatural. Here's the thing with Instagram, people always like uh, perfection, right? They'll manipulate their bodies to be so aesthetic, V tapered, broad shoulders, whatever. The ladies like to slim their waist, make their behind bigger. You can do whatever you want, no judgment. I just think it's a little bit too much and a little bit too much effort for me. I'll leave acne on my skin and all that, but uh, you do you. We drop the highlights, which is like mainly in the sky and the floor a little bit. Then we're gonna move to our shadows. You should always drag it to see how everything functions. So raise the shadows a little bit, bring up the exposure as well. Bring up the whites. All right, that's not bad. Drop the blacks. I always like to kind of crush my blacks. So after I got the basics features, over with. We're gonna move on to color. And this picture is a little bit too cool and it's a little bit too much on the purple side. So we're gonna add some warmth to it. There we go. And then we're gonna add some green tint to it because the mountains, the Sandias, if you live in Albuquerque, you are known for just being purple. And yeah, we're gonna compensate for that by dropping the green tint just a tad bit. Then we got vibrance and saturation. Play with the sliders, see what they do. Um, I'm gonna drop the saturation a tad bit. Then here's why I really love Lightroom. I'm sure other editing apps do this as well. You go to mix up here, and this will allow you to manipulate every single color. It's hue, it's brightness, it's saturation. It, there's a lot of flexibility and you can really enhance the image. And that's why I really like using Lightroom. So we got the reds. Reds are for like mainly the skin, your nose, your ears and all that. So if I zoom in, you guys will see. I adjust the red slider. The top one's hue, so it's gonna adjust the color of the red. Right, the tint of it, the shade, whatever you want to call it, right? So you just want to make it look, you know, somewhat natural unless it's something you want to enhance. Um, I don't want my lips to be super red. Add a little bit of saturation and drop the luminance. So again, luminance is like the brightness of that certain color. Um, then we got orange. Let's zoom out. As you can see, orange is in the mountains, my skin, uh, that little pineapple. 
tell, tell me, this is not, this, this has got to be a pineapple. Three foot size pineapple. Anyways, <laughs> orange is in mainly your skin. Every human has a little bit of orange in them. I really just care about my skin color because I used to edit where my skin tone was red. Uh, that was a weird phase in my life. But we'll, you know, make it look um, stereotypically Asian with a little bit of a tan. Then um, with the luminance, I am going to drop the luminance a tad bit. I think my skin's a little bit, like a tiny bit too bright. Zoom out, then we got the yellows. If you ever visit New Mexico, Arizona, Las Vegas, and parts of California, uh, it's pretty yellow here. As you can see, when I adjust the, the slider of the hue on yellow, you'll see there's gonna be a lot of change in color, right? Greens are greens, that's gonna be on this pineapple. Uh, I might make it a little bit more green and mess with it. Cool, aqua. Yeah, not really. So we can just leave the sliders alone. Then we got blue. Blue is in everything pretty much as well. The sky, the ground, your shirt. You're gonna see a huge change. Yep, you'll see in my shirt, the mountains, a little bit in the sky and the ground as well. Everything's a little bit too purple for me. So I'm going to adjust the hue a tad bit. Nothing too crazy. Um, blue and orange is typically what you see on the on Instagram nowadays. They like to do the orange and teal look. You'll see something like this, you know. Uh, it's too much for me. Yeah, move it more towards the teal side. I'm gonna drop the saturation as well um, because I want kind of like a, a true gray. I'm gonna increase the luminance just to brighten up the, the background, uh, my shirt as well. And then we got purples. Cool, there's a lot of purple, obviously. Magenta. I might have flip-flopped those. Can't really tell anything. Cool. All right, colors are done. Now we're gonna move on to effects, which is going to be, you know, texture, clarity. It's just gonna also add a little bit more depth to the picture. Um, texture, as you can see, is going to smooth my skin or not, okay? If you wanna look like a doll, that's totally up to you. Clarity, same thing. Smoothing it or not, it's just a different look. Um, as you can see, a lot of clarity. No clarity. I'm gonna drop the clarity a tad bit just because I I know my camera lens is a, it just adds a bit too much sharpness. Dehaze is like if there's like a little bit of a fade to it, it's really hard to exp explain. Uh, dehaze is going to fix that. Basically, this is what it's. If your picture looks like this, dehazing it will bring it back. That's when you use dehaze. I'm not gonna touch it. Vignettes is gonna be obviously a vignette. I don't want to touch that yet either. And then there's other stuff you can mess with. I might add a little bit of grain if I want uh, a certain look. I'm not gonna do that for this picture. I'm gonna drop the sharpness a little bit. Now we're gonna add, we're gonna fix the crop. So we're gonna change the aspect ratio to four by five, which is the standard Instagram crop. Okay, we're gonna crop this. Now, the cool thing about Lightroom is you can just tap your, your thumb. It'll show the before and you let go of your thumb, it'll show the after. So that's before, after, before, after. Cool. So I always routine, routinely do this as throughout the edit just so I can see the difference. Now we want to really add a bit more to the picture. It's just like accessories with an outfit. You don't need it, but adding it does enhance your outfit and make for a better outfit. So we're gonna go to profiles. You guys are also gonna have this feature, I believe, if you guys uh, don't have an account with Adobe. Basically, it's, it's like filters like on Instagram, but these are just better filters. I just like tapping through them to see what it looks like and what it could potentially look like. Okay, so we stuck with the Modern 8 profile and then you can always adjust the intensity of it. So now we're gonna move on to some features that you guys may not have if you don't have an Adobe account. As you can see, I have acne. So there's the healing tool. You just tap on it. It's gonna grab the data from this top circle right here and then insert it to where you just tapped. You guys can do that. I don't really care. I'm a human. We all have flaws and uh, people will try too hard to look perfect all the time. The selective tool really adds a ton to a picture. I'm gonna touch the middle one, which is gonna be the radial filter. Whatever's in this red, I can adjust it. So exposure, you guys can see that. Contrast, I always like to bring up the shadows a tiny bit and the whites, just to isolate myself in the picture and make me stand out. So shadows and whites, maybe a little bit of shadows. And if there's too much shadows, then I'll always adjust the blacks a little bit. Also, you can do little things like a radial filter around uh, the sling bag if you want. Then we got the gradual, the gradual filter. Gra I can't say that word. Basically, you drag it. It's basically like a ray of light, only you can adjust it, brightness, darkness, whatever you want. You can always add some darkness if you're in, a mo in that mood. <laughs> but we're gonna add some exposure to add some brightness to the photo as well. And because I'm facing that way, and that's probably all I'm gonna do. Add one at the bottom if you want. You know, just to make the floor a little bit darker. Yeah, that looks good to me. Also, you can brush. You can adjust the size of the brush. Let's just say I wanna brush my hair. You do whatever you want. You can add some warmth to it. I can make my hair blonde. 
Uh, I can make it blue. I think the only thing I might do is add some contrast just to make it a little bit more black. Now let's check the before and after. Dope. Look at that. What a huge difference. This is what you get with shooting raw. Get more detail out of it. You can bring up the shadows, bring down the highlights, and just overall make the picture a lot better. But also the cool thing about Lightroom is you can copy and paste what you just did so you can save yourself some time. So you can tap these three dots, copy settings, copy the tools if you want, the healing tool, gradient tool, radial gradients, all that stuff. If you wanna copy that, you can go ahead. And I am gonna copy that because I have other pictures where I'm standing in a similar pose, it was shot at the same time. I don't wanna redo everything. Tap the three dots, do paste, bam, you're done. Then you can just adjust the crop and you can always check, you see, radial blurs all there. That's for the bag, cool. And then I'm gonna paste it on this stupid picture. Um, also, if you're doing photo shoots, just have fun with it. You don't always have to look so model-esque and pretty all the time. Have fun with your shoots. Don't, don't take life so seriously, man. See, this one was shot at a different time of day because the other pictures were shot when the cloud moved over the sun. It was a lot more darker and more even lighting. So when I paste it on here, you can see that it's overexposed. So I'm gonna drop the exposure, fix the crop, and we're gonna fix our radial blurs. It's a little bit offset. Then I got these like little product shots and a sneaker shot, so copy paste. This is the original picture we edited. When we copy it, I don't wanna copy the tools. Because this is a completely different photo from the full outfit shot, so none of those filters are gonna to apply to this. So we're gonna paste everything but those, those filters. Cool. As you can see, it's overexposed, so we're gonna adjust to that. And then this one, I'm probably gonna dehaze it a tad bit. There's a little bit of haziness, in my opinion. Then we're gonna crop it to fit the Instagram four by five. Cool, I think that looks dope. Okay, so now that you've copied and pasted to all your pictures, you wanna look through all of them and make sure they all look pretty much the same. Otherwise, it just may look a little bit weird. I can already tell this photo is a little bit too warm. So we're gonna drop the warmth a tad bit to basically try and match these ones. Then you're going to export it and it's ready to post on Instagram. So, what do you guys think of the edits? This is just my mood currently with editing these pictures. It's gonna be different if I edit it tomorrow. I'm gonna post this as soon as this video goes up. So, uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at flowerjohnnytai. Okay, so let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that provides an opportunity to explore creatively and grow skillfully. They offer classes that are designed for what's to come from being an adult, you know, the real world, which is going to further advance your career or expand your creative interests even if you have a busy routine. I've explored a ton of classes offered here, all from productivity by Thomas Frank so I could get more work done in less time and stress. The Staples of Branding by Jeff Staple for upcoming projects, and recently I've been looking at stepping up my production value, not just gear wise, because your boy is broke, but perspective wise. So this class here by YC Imaging, he's another YouTuber I watch for video and cameras. But anyways, this class has been amazing. And as a guy who has been making videos for myself and other YouTubers for the past five years, there was some out of the box thinking like downloading an app to see where the sun will be at a certain point in time so that you can frame the shot using a window if you're indoors. It's something I never would have thought. But yeah, this class has been great. I would definitely recommend you guys take this class. If you guys are into video, you guys wanna be a YouTuber. If you guys are interested in getting started, click that link in the description down below. The first 500 of you guys are gonna get two months for free. That's right, two months for free to explore everything they offer from business, interior design, graphic design, photography, whatever it is, there's probably going to be a class for you. And it's going to be super affordable at $10 a month on an annual subscription. So go ahead and click the link down below. Thank you guys in advance and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, fellas, I hope this video helps you out. Seriously, um, I truly appreciate you guys following the channel. We're almost at 50K and I don't always just wanna make fashion videos, you know, about clothes and all that. I do like photography. I do like a lot of things. Any video ideas you guys have, comment down below. Oh, and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm so that the YouTube gods can show the channel some love. We're getting there, we're getting close to 50K, then it's 100K. I uh, truly appreciate y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Wash your hands, please. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bro. Peace. Peace, peace.